Hey guys, Upstarter here. Uh, got another Wi-Fi battle. I found this guy on a forum. He's using Kyogre, so it's not really like tournament fair gameplay, but I battled him anyway. So uh, let's go. Let's do this. Alright, so... Just thought I'd start off with Tentacle like I usually do just to get the hazards and toxic spikes because he didn't have a spinner. Uh, he starts with Gudra. Wasn't quite sure what this Gudra was gonna do, so I just I had to start throwing out the toxic spikes anyway. And he goes for the acid armor, which so he's obviously a wall, which I thought was really weird. He never like who starts with a wall. But um I just go for this goal and maybe try to burn him, it does nothing because he's resistant and I didn't get to burn that turn. He just keeps floating up this defense, so I go back into just setting up some spikes, so every wolf not comes in to be toxic. And I assume since this is a wall, he's probably running toxic on his Rudra, meaning he can't do anything to a Tentacruel. So pretty much I'm just going to stay in with Tentacruel and just eat up whatever he does because I'm a calm, special um, defense EV Tentacruel, so he eats it up pretty nice. It gets Black Sludge health back. So from here on, I'm just going to go start going for sludge bombs and trying to get the uh, poison on him. I look out, got the poison the first turn. Um, honestly, I probably should have and could have switched into uh, Scizor because he wouldn't be able to be poisoned either and be resistant. But I mean, he does have the, I think he's up to plus four? Plus four or plus six in his defense, so... This is a really want to do more. I'm better off with my special attack here. Tentacruel. So this part of the battle is a little bit slow because it's just us exchanging very weak hits back and forth. But I'm um, not really probably going to win this just because of the poison damage. Even though I'm actually doing way less damage than he is at this point. But actually, he was going to uh, probably win this little duel here, but... He goes for a mistake, I think, this turn. No, it's next turn, next turn. Because uh, I barely survived the Dragon Pulse, and honestly, another Dragon Pulse would have taken out Tentacruel, but he makes a mistake here. I don't know if he... I really don't know why he did this move. I don't know if he thought he was going to do more damage, or if I was going to switch or something. But I um, might have gone for an Bob. He barely survives that. And then he answers back with a uh, Muddy Water. And you know, being a water type attack on a water Pokemon, it's not doing much damage. I survive. Lowers my accuracy, but I don't think that really matters. Chunch Quartz doesn't do anything after this point of the battle. He gets leftovers, but it's still low enough where the poison damage is actually going to fix him off. So at this point, it's a uh, 6 to 5 to me. And he sends out Lucario, which there's only one reason people would use Lucario anymore, and that's uh, Mega Lucario. And my touch was a little bit too easy, so I thought I might be able to outspeed and get the skulls, but turns out it's not fast enough. So he's just gonna Aura Spear, take out Tentacruel, which doesn't matter. Tentacruel took out Pokemon and ended up with Taku Spike, so he's good. Send out Dimension. And uh, go go for the Flare Blitz and switch it out, but anything that switches in is going to take huge damage. Because the uh, Iron Mind Choice Banded, which means pretty much he's hitting everything super hard. It almost kills him, takes a little bit of recoil damage. Uh, let's see, he has the Citrus Berry. He's usually using the Life Orb, which if this one was Life Orb, he probably would have killed Dermanitan. But uh, I think the Maritime barely survived, yeah, with two hit points. Uh, leave him enough health to go back for another Flare Blitz. Uh, do a double KO, I'm taking out, but the recoil damage is going to kill the Maritime as well. It's worth it though, Cannon Flames are kind of annoying. Then again, they're more of a threat when they have Life Orb on them, or occasionally the Choice Band. Because they don't have to worry about speed, because they have Gale Wind. Gale Wing, so they get the priority flying attack. So most people just life orb or choice band into uh, Brave Bird and just rape everything. So go into uh, Digger's B. Hit this guy with the Earthquake. He goes right down. Now, he goes 
I don't think he knew that my bigger three was Choice Grass, so he probably thought he could outspeed and like close combat him. Mine is Choice Grass, so he's got a little bit over 300 for speed. And, uh, I ended up just first choice is one shot him. And I got really scared of this Kyogre because I thought it was going to be something super obscure, like, <laughs> really obscure. I got paranoid. I thought he might have a choice guard, so if he had a choice guard, he'd actually be able to outspeed everything and win this battle. So I switched out, I, the Resurrection required desire to take a hit, but this one actually carries the water spell, which the more hit points you have, the more uh, damage it has, so if he's full health, it does crazy damage, and it's also in the rain and stab, so going to one-shot Quiet Desire. I go back into uh, Diggersby, though. Here, I just go for uh, the return stab. So, um, I'm going to knock him down so low that his water shot is actually going to do, like, no damage. But stab in the rain uh, to a ground type, still no damage. So, I'm just going to go for another return, finish him off. And at this point, I believe he has just one Pokemon last. And it goes to the Lapras. I know he's bulky enough where he would take a return and then just new friend kill me. But, like I said, it's the end of the battle, so I know I got this one. So I hit him with the return, drop him to about 20-25% health. Finishes me with a Surf in the Rain. But, um, I don't know if this is my last Pokemon, I lost track, but I just looked into Scizor. And, uh, pretty much a, uh, Mega Evolved Bullet Punch is gonna finish off that person with a battle for me. It was surprisingly pretty close battle, I think he took out... I don't know, I think either Scizor was my last or my second to last Pokemon, so it was pretty close. Uh, it's a pretty good battle, and I'm going to try that more up later. Thanks for watching.